Cheapskate channel. Today we're going to talk about prepaid phones. In fact, we're going to talk about the best prepaid smartphones for the practical and frugal minded. We're going to show you how you can get the most for your dollars by selecting the wisest and best smartphone plan that will suit your needs and be the most versatile for all different types of situations. Many cell phone plans are out there and on the surface it looks like every party has their own particular cell phone company but there's a little secret that we need to let you in on. Even though there are a lot of labels out there, there are generally a small amount of cell phone companies that provide the backbone or the actual network. In fact, a handful of cell phone companies, especially the prepaid ones, sublet the larger companies' frequencies or lines so that they can provide service. And a lot of the companies only provide service to major population centers or along the interstates and such as that. The basic, smart, frugal-minded person will select a cell phone carrier that is a national carrier and it has the best plans, best phones, and the best customer service. And I want to definitely reiterate, definitely the best customer service. Because when you have a problem with a cell phone, you don't want to have to go through language barriers, technology barriers, and ignorance barriers to talk to someone to try to get your job done. Anyway, in this video, we're going to talk about the top three choices that I have for a frugal smartphone cell phone carrier. And the first one that we had considered is a big carrier. In fact, it was the big original carrier. It was AT&T. And AT&T has a pretty good um, coverage and cell prepaid cell phone collection here and as you see as we go through there they have a number of different cell phones for all different budgets and things and uh, you can pretty much take your pick from the simplistic go phone for 14 bucks up to a very expensive ZTE phone for 129 and even higher up as we look down the line it's all different prices here the important thing here is the plans that they have and you want to be able to pick a plan that's going to fit to your pocketbook and they have a $30 monthly which is generally for the non smartphones and the $45 monthly it seems to be the the hallmark for the entry-level smartphones here and of course you can get the refill and for data with AT&T you get a gig and a half for your $45 monthly and there once you use up your gig and a half they basically cut you off they don't throttle you back they cut you off and you need to kind of examine that situation here if you use a lot of data you might want to see if you have other uh, options for expanding your data here but you get the basic things unlimited talking text messaging they have rollover data with um, AT&T which is good and they have unlimited talk and text from the U.S. to Mexico and Canada, which is pretty neat if you know somebody up there and you want to talk to them there. And, of course, for your $45 or $60 or $30 includes talk, data, and text in uh, the U.S., Mexico, and Canada. And they have other plans here. Uh, <clears throat> a little bit smaller than if you really don't talk on the phone a whole lot. So, well, we won't go into that. We'll go ahead and move on to the next one. And the next one straddles against the big carriers. And they are a big carrier that sublets the carrier. And it's called Straight Talk Wireless. And here, they sublet with a number of different carriers to provide you the service. And they have very economical phones here. In fact, you can get a free phone when you purchase a plan here, like this LG and uh, they have inexpensive plans like the Motorola Moto E. I have one of those. It's a pretty good phone. It has its flaws, but it has different different uh, things there. 
And uh, here are their plans. There are no contract, talks, text, and data plans. And of course, here's the basic uh, plan here where you can get, uh, now you get 5G, 5 gigs of high speed data, which is pretty good on the data. And uh, also with the 45 and $60, of course, the $30 plan here, that's the kind of a basic plan for the little flip phones and stuff. And they won't uh, turn on the $30 plan if you have a smartphone. So, you know, you're looking at 45 to $60 here with a straight talk plan phone. And with straight talk, you can pretty much take your pick on the phone selection here. They sell reconditioned phones, which is pretty good. Of course, there's the free phone. You can get an LG Optimus for $9.99. Uh, as you see, you can go all the way up to $529.99 for a Samsung Galaxy X6. And it just goes all the way down the line if you take a look at the selections there. Lots of phones to choose for, for straight talk. Uh, we'll tell you a little bit more, more about straight talk in just a second after we scroll down the things. Now, one bad thing about straight talk, remember a little while ago I mentioned about a thing where you need to have good customer service? Straight talk falls down on customer service. I had straight talk for years, and the biggest issue I had if I had a problem with my phone and I had to call customer service, there was a, a serious language barrier there. And the reason for that is they utilize offshore or outside the United States call centers. And most, not all, but a uh, uh, astounding majority of the reps that you will call on Straight Talk's customer service lines do not have a grasp of the English language. And it's frustrating. They get frustrated. You get frustrated. And they are reading from a script from a terminal. And I used to be in phone sales a long time ago, so I can pretty much tell when somebody's reading a script. They've improved, but still, you know, that's something if you need to be taken by the hand and you're not that familiar with uh, smartphones, and even if you are and you just need some help, this is where this carrier really falls down. They have lots of good deals, and they will... And when you run out of your data, they will just simply throttle you back where you still will be able to access your data. Unfortunately, they really do fall down on customer service. And yep, you get overnight shipping if you spend 29 bucks or more with it. And uh, well, that's all I can say about straight talk. Now, the last but not least is one by Verizon Wireless. And... Uh, I'm going to say I give Verizon Wireless my, my pick of the group because it had the coverage, the versatility, the signal strength, and most importantly, the customer service. You call someone there, uh, they speak clearly, they have a good command of the English language, they're friendly, they're cordial, they won't put you on hold and not come back. Uh, and they have a pretty good plan there. They don't believe in throttling down. You have to pay for your data, but the connectivity is very fast. Uh, and you can, you know, get the same $45 a month type of uh, fee there. You get one gig. If you go into auto pay, you can get two gigs for your $45 a month. And on here, they have a good selection of phones here. And as you see, next day shipping free on all prepaid devices there. And they have uh, they have a pretty decent selection of phones. Not quite as big as Straight Talk, but once again, sometimes you might want to pay a little bit more to get a little bit more. And Verizon fills in the gaps where AT&T and Straight Talk really kind of fall short. And that's my experience with it. I've had all three carriers, and so I speak from experience. And so far in my book, for my dollar, Verizon gets the best choice on it. In another video, we'll talk about tethering on your smartphone and which carrier that you can use for tethering that will be the most beneficial and how to do that cheaply also. But hopefully this will be a big help if you uh, want to use a prepaid phone. And I suggest using prepaid phones because if you become dissatisfied with the service, once the month is up, you can switch carriers without having to pay any kind of penalty fees or anything 
to get out of it. So there you go on the prepaid cell phones there. And as you see, there are a lot of carriers here, but trust me, they're subletting all these things and net 10 straight talk and all that all this is basically straight talk clones and they're all subletting carriers and it's varying degrees of what you can and cannot do on it but the basic carriers verizon at&t and straight talk is kind of like a bridge carrier in there those are going to be the ones if you want to get coverage outside of a metro area or away from a major interstate and sometimes you're going to be at that or you're going to be in a place where you really want to get coverage. I know some people who are in downtown Atlanta who go to certain parts of downtown Atlanta and they cannot get AT&T coverage. You know, it's a nationwide carrier, but they have little dead pockets there. I experienced very little of that on Verizon and I'm not a Verizon rep. I'm just a customer of all three. And I've been at this for quite a while. So I'm giving you my honest appraisal about what's going on. But anyway, that's the scoop on the best prepaid smartphones for the practical, frugal-minded person. If you think this information has been helpful to you, please like and share this video. And as always, go up to the top of the screen and copy the website page and share it on your Facebook, Instagram, and all the other pages and say, hey, get you a good prepaid cell phone that won't break you and give you the service that you deserve and at a price you deserve. You don't have to pay two and three and four hundred dollars for a cell phone or smartphone unless you just really want to. The phone I got, which is a Motorola Moto G, I paid forty nine ninety nine on special at Verizon. I've never paid over fifty or sixty dollars for a cell phone. Never. You know, it's that's just not me because they drop they break. You drop them in water, they break. You're in rain, they get wet, they break. You know, the best thing to do is to do it in common sense, frugal mindedness so that you can get your job done. Thanks a lot for listening and hope this has been helpful and see you next time.